I picked up this leading edge Model M on an impulse after losing on a bid for another vintage system. The big brother to the Model D, which was targeted at the home market, the Model M was a larger and more expandable system. But despite all my efforts to revive it, a seemingly impossible to find chip postponed its completion indefinitely. Enter an unremarkable motherboard from a Tandy that apparently was being parted out. The listing stated, removed from working system and excellent condition. Well, maybe it worked with the parts it shipped with, but it was uncooperative on my bench. The chips were hot to the touch, but no beep equals no boot. Act 3. My EEPROM programmer, UV eraser, and some used EEPROMs enter stage right. I found a PCXT BIOS online and, after switching the original BIOS for the replacement, the Tandy motherboard was very cooperative. I used it to test some cards that had been waiting their turn on the bench, formatted some three and a half and five and a quarter inch disks, and tested some disk images created by my Windows 7 imaging software. Now to bring it all together. I drilled out the standoffs and repositioned them, modded the power supply for clearance, also needed a little on the drive cage. Slot spacing was non-standard on the case, so goodbye. Made a temporary harness. Plugged in power, keyboard, and video, and was rewarded with a successful boot. I cleaned up the power harness, added more memory, a Super PCXTIO card, and a 8-bit MFM controller. I dug out the original Seagate 20 meg hard drive, which low-level formatted without problems. As a note, I tried interleaves of 2, 3, and 4, with 3 being the fastest. Also found the original 5 and a quarter 360K drive. 